Question number 121. Identify true or false for the following statements and then choose the correct option. Statement A. Mosses along with the lichens are the first organisms to colonize rocks. B. Protonema is a creeping, green, branched and frequently filamentous stage of liverworts. C. In gymnosperms, male and female gametophytes are present within sporangia located on sporophyte. D. In brown algae, gametes are pear-shaped and pear to laterally attached flagella. So choose the option by stating the statements which one is true and which one is false. So statement A, mosses along with lichens are the first organisms to colonize rocks. This is very true statement. Why? During the rock succession or zeroceo, the organisms which colonize the rocks are the lichens along with the mosses. So this is the true statement. B. Protonema is a creeping green branched and frequently filamentous stage. Yes. Of liverworts? No. Of mosses. Protonema is a filamentous gametophyte. It is a gametophytic stage of mosses, not in the liverworts. C. In gymnosperms, male and female gametophytes are present within sporangia located in sporophyte. Yes. Sporophyte is the main plant body in gymnosperms. And female and male gametophytes do not have independent existence. They are present within the sporangia located on sporophyte. So this is again true. D. In brown algae, gametes are pure shaped and bio to laterally attached flagella. This is also true in case of brown algae or the pheophyce. The members have motile flagellated gametes and the gametes are pure shaped and bio laterally attached flagella. So this is again true. So A statement is true. B is false, C is true and D is true. By analyzing the options, you can say the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 122. Cock cells are first option dead and lignified, second dead and suberized, third living and cutinized, fourth living and suberized. What are cock cells? So before going into the details of this question, you should know what are cock cells. You may be knowing about phylogen. You must have studied or your teacher must have taught about phylogen, which is the cock cambium. Cock cambium is the secondary mediastum formed by the de-differentiation of the cortical cells in the stem. So this cock cambium cuts off the cells on both sides. Towards the outer side, it forms the cock cells. And towards the inner side, it forms the secondary cortex. These cock cells, they have the position of suberin. They become dead and suberized. So the correct answer for the given question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 123. What is wrong about trichomes? Option one. They may be secretory in some plants. Second, mainly help in preventing the water loss due to transpiration. Third, they are usually multicellular. Fourth, they help in gaseous exchange. So which statement is wrong about the trichomes? First, you should know what are trichomes. The trichomes are epidermal hairs in stem. They are usually multicellular. They may be secretory in some plants. Yes, it is true. They may be secretory. They mainly help in preventing the water loss. Yes, it is also true. They are usually multicellular. Yes. For they help in gaseous exchange. No, they don't help in gaseous exchange. They are not stomata or lenticel. That's why they do not help in gaseous exchange. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 124. Which one is odd in reference to bast fibers? First option, jute. Second, hemp. Third, coir of coconut. Fourth, flax. Bast fibers are nothing but they are phloem fibers, which are dead and sclerenchymatous in nature. Jute, hemp and flax, they are phloem fibers. So these are correct. And the odd one is the coir of coconut. Coir of coconut is the mesocarp 
it is the one of the layers of the pericarp it is the mesocarp not the bast fibers so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move on to the next question question number 125 gymnosperms and a lack companion cells gymnosperm possesses b in place of companion cells fill in the blanks with suitable words for a and b option 1 teidophytes x albuminous seeds second angiosperms albuminous cells third teidophytes albuminous cells fourth angiosperms x albuminous seeds gymnosperms and dash lack companion cells companion cells are the components of the phloem they are present in only angiosperms not in the gymnosperms and the teidophytes so companion cells are present in the angiosperms so option number 2 and 4 are ruled out so now the correct option can be 1 or 3 gymnosperm possesses b in place of companion cells gymnosperms have albuminous cells at the place of companion cells so they have albuminous cells so this option already has been ruled out so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move on to the next question mm -hmm. 